Hello friends, my name is Real Emil, and welcome back to another edition of the Hotline Classic. This time, taking a look at what, in my opinion, is possibly the ugliest car in this entire game. This is the 1997 Daihatsu Opti Club Sport, four-wheel drive. This car was requested by a lonely wolf. Yeah, uh, really is not a good looking car, this one. It has the most horrified looking face in the world. The rear end isn't much better, and the racing mod is sort of this weird canary yellow with grey stripes and red wheels. Not a good looking car. Uh, statistically, not good either. Four wheel drive, good. 82 horsepower, not good. 633 kilograms and not a, a lot of torque at all. It'll be interesting to see uh, quite how well this car does. Anyways, it's going to go to the Motorsports Land track where it's going to have six laps to set the best time it possibly can. Our current leader is a Suzuki Colter Spice Peak Edition, which set a time of 28.209. And the Daihatsu Opti is obviously going to crush it. Getting that crown back for Daihatsu. Come on, Opti. Let, let, let's see how well you do. Yeah. Uh, there is two versions of this particular model of Opti in this game. There is the four-wheel drive and the two-wheel drive. And while you may be expecting me to uh, say like, Oh yeah, four-wheel drive's good. Yeah, yeah. I actually think the two-wheel drive has the potential to be quicker. Because the two-wheel drive weighs less. And honestly, at 82 horsepower, is four-wheel drive really making that much of a difference? Probably not. Yeah. Uh, this car's sort of rivals for today, probably the Honda Beat. Uh, I mean, what did that get? Like a 37.5, I think it was. So, yeah. Uh, I will say, I mean, it's, it's good handling-ish for what it is. It's not quick. If you ever describe the Daihatsu Opti Club Sport as quick, then you're wrong. I mean, admittedly, in real life, I bet this thing is feels terrifying. I mean, an 82 horsepower version of this, it would feel absolutely terrifying. But uh, in game, not so much. It might actually be quicker than I'm giving it credit for, though. A 37.6. That's slightly worse than the Subaru 360. Uh, and this has racing mod. I believe the Honda Beat is the slowest racing mod car we've ever had. This might take its crown from it. Which I'm sure will make a lot of you lot happy because you all like the Honda Beat. Or most people do. I kind of like the Honda Beat. I would much rather have an AZ1 personally just because I think that's a much more interesting car. But still, yeah. Uh, the Opti, not the most interesting car in the world. It is going to be quicker on this lap, though. 37.512. That might have beaten the Honda Beat. The Daihatsu Opti Club Sport 4-wheel drive might be quicker than a Honda Beat. Actually, might be quicker still, considering that run through the con. I wonder how much of this course I can take in. You can actually take a lot of speed through the corners in this, which is surprising. Interestingly enough, this is actually an A-class car according to the game, which is a bit strange. Actually, no, this might be a C-class. I don't know, I didn't really look uh, at the classifications of the cars. I know we've got like three A-class cars today. Uh, this might be a C-class. I can't remember if this was a C or an A-class. I'd be very surprised if it was an A-class, come to think of it. But yeah, it's not terrible. Well, it is kind of terrible, but it's not as terrible as I was expecting it to be. I will put it that way. It handles rather decently. It actually deals with uh, corner cuts and stuff well, which is something you usually have to avoid in these key cars. This just seems to just plow right through them. Loves corners. Loves cutting corners, that's what it does. The worst bit is, in real life, this car would be probably quicker around here than the Dodge Viper, because this corner, this course isn't probably wide enough for a Dodge Viper. But, uh, yeah, in-game, not quite. It doesn't quite work like that. Life is not a game, folks. Life is not a game. Ooh. Right, final lap. Let's see how well the amazing Opti... Uh, what is it called? Club Sport. That's it. I was thinking it was the Daihatsu Opti Aerodown Beaks. But no, that's, a, that's another version of the Opti. That's the newer Opti, which you'll get to see later on. And that is a slightly... Well... It doesn't look any worse, but it, it, it kind of does. A 36.9... Okay. Alright. Alright. That is... Okay. That's good. 
that is actually really good. That was a lot more than I was expecting from the Opti. That does kind of maybe mean it beats the Honda Beat. I'd have to check, but yeah. Might be quicker than the Honda Beat. <laughs> Which will irritate people, but yeah. The Opti Club Sport is still far from a good car at all, and there's really no way you're going to get any more lap time out of that. Anyways, let's go see where this hideous, hideous abomination places on our leaderboard. Onto the leaderboard then, and it's actually a relatively impressive showing for the Opti Club Sport. It goes into 61st place with a 36.976, which on paper doesn't sound particularly great, but considering the statistics of that car, it's not too bad. It does beat the Honda Beat version F, the Subaru 360, the Toyota Prius, losing out slightly to the Renault Clio. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Hot Lamp Classic. If you have cars you'd like to request for this series, you can do so in the comments section and go into the description for a full request list form. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, farewell.